Hello. Yep, I'm leaving. What's on the list? This is what is the miscasting for comic book characters. And you probably wonder why is there a 10? Well, it's because I haven't decided. Okay, now what number 10 is. Now I'm going to go through. Before I go through, you all must know that your opinions are wrong if you disagree with me. <laughs> I was really like, but it felt like you funny. Uh, okay, let's start with uh, uh, the best of the worst, and we'll get to the worst of the best. The best of the worst is Sylvester so alone as Judge Dredd. Now, my problem with that I have was him as Judge Dredd, he feels it seems like he can't make a Judge Dredd interesting without the mask. And as soon as he has a mask up, the interesting part of Judge Dredd is no longer applies to um, Stallone. Uh, and it makes the movie more phony, feel more phony to me when he does it. It makes the movie feel incredibly phony without the mask. So I can't really buy into illusion without the mask. And I don't see why it's the point of uh, him having the mask back on if he's just going to take it off again as a disguise, but not wear regular clothes. And so, okay, now let's now let's go to number ten. That's why I decided I'm number ten. Okay, Dolph Lundgren as the Punisher. Now my problem with this, you don't you have any reasons to sympathize with his character. Because the film doesn't give you reason to sympathize with him. I don't know what opposed to, but uh, the it, I don't know why. It's like it was uh, that part of the film was edited out. So uh, yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, Wesley Snipes as Blade. Okay, I don't know how to put this, but uh, Blade sucks. <laughs> I mean, you can't make Blade interesting or like a boy or engaging to watch. So, yeah, that's another one. It's okay. That's another one. What's also this here? Heath Ledger as the Joker. Okay, my problem is not that I don't like the Heath Ledger's Michelle the Joker, but I don't know who he is. I don't know what his character is, and I don't really know what the point of his, other than use, a, use him as a tool to drive Batman to break. I don't know what the point is that, uh, he, he's only in the film of the Dark Knight to actually move the plot forward, to help forward the plot, and use that as a tool for Batman, but not as much as a character. <sighs> he's more of a tool than a character, is what I'm trying to say. He feels more like a, he feels like a tool, not a character. And let's say, um, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tommy McGuire as Spider-Man. Okay, now I know a lot of people like Tommy McGuire as Spider-Man, but I don't. Well, I do like his performance as Spider-Man 3 because he finally believed me that he was a wise... Uh, Wisecracker uh, geek, I know. Uh, that's a smart ass, a smart ass geek that I know. That's incredibly sarcastic and sure of himself. I didn't got that feeling in the first two. He didn't really have the heart of Peter Parker, nor did he have the personality of Peter Parker or Spider Man. This is blah. 
Now, okay, yes. I should be probably more clear because Now these don't all mean I hate all of these. Oh, well, some of them I do. Actually, yours and most of them. Okay, let's just say it's 50-50. It's 50-50, hate 50-50 I like. Okay? Maguire, no, I hate him. Dolph Lauren, kind of like him. But again, they would try to make us sympathize with Dolph Lundgren's character, so yeah. So I'm going to have to put them on the list. And he sort of likes him, but I don't really know who he is, his, what his character is. Or if he has any character. He's just raised, he's just meant to, all he just does is talk really. <laughs> oh, I'm so serious. Oh, I sound like I'm pouring really in my ass. And it's going to be scary. <laughs> Seriously, that fact that it sounds like that, that makes us, that, that makes so entertained to watch. Is because, mainly because he's such a. Okay, now, um. Well, it's inside I hate. Always in. Now, George Clooney has Bammy. Yeah, he's a target. Look, it's, George Clooney does a good job for what he's given with, but the film doesn't do a good job enough. Doesn't really acknowledge that he's the Batman from the previous film, which was Forever and uh, Batman and Batman Returns. And no one does this really do that good job of developing his character, so it's a so-so job of developing his character. And that's it. Um, okay, so... Um, anyway, I do like his take on Batman, though. Because it kind of reminds me of... Uh, Anna versus Batman. But in a new light. Hang on. Just hang on. I just need to cross this. Okay, okay, okay. So, the next one is uh, second worst, next to the worst. Uh, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. Yeah, mainly because I, well, I do love Logan, but it has plenty of roles, and I just didn't feel like Hugh Jackman Wolverine because Hugh Jackman Wolverine is way too bland and forgettable. And it doesn't leave that much of an impression on you. And, uh, Christian Bale as Batman. Yeah, I do, I do like him. His run on Batman. Much like I, 
I well, I do like his the his Batman movies. I also much like I'll do like Hugh Jackman movie and movies. Okay, I just okay. So I see Paul stop one for his Punisher. I don't feel like sorry for the fucking bastard. Mm. Yeah, I said it. Ever since his parent died, he turned out so, such a he become a whiny little bitch that I just want to slap him in the face. Ever since his parent died, and let me say that again. Ever since his parent died, and Batman began, blah blah blah, slap him in the face because he's a whiny bitch. And yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's save. Let's go down. Let's uh, Geraldo is not funny. Like the Joker in the comic, because the Joker is supposed to be funny. Neither is he scary or mysterious or creative. He's just too bland. And while I do like Geraldo's Joker. He's just. Other than how he dresses, there's no flavor to him. And last but not least, my most hated, 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 comic book character portrayed by a misdirection and a misdirection for the actor's career. I'm saying the mother goddamn Robert Johnny Jr. as Iron Man. Robert Johnny Jr. as Iron Man is just unforgettable. It's just so painful and painful to watch from beginning to the end of his Iron Man series. Yeah, there were a few good duds of good films that he made as a Iron Man, like Age of Ultron, Avengers movies, Iron Man 2, but in a homecoming, but not like he's just a bore and to watch. He really has no personality other than he's Robert Downey. Who needs personality when you're Robert Downey? And that's my list.